Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Mega Bloks review by the SS Motion. So today I'll be reviewing the UNSC Booster Frame, which is the combined and build complete set when you combine the UNSC CNC console, UNSC hangar deck and four in a terminal. So this set actually has no price or item number as it is a combination of the three combined and build sets this year, but it is outstanding at that. The figure recommended to be used with this set is this metallic green EVA. Now this is an awesome figure, it's one of the best EVAs I've ever seen. The metallic effect is something that Mega Bloks never uses, but it certainly does work very well. This EVA itself is from the UNSC Hangar Deck, which is the second of the three sets, and is outstanding. With this metallic green primary colour, with black secondary colour under the armour, nice steel highlights on the armour there, a gold visor, and I have displayed him with the translucent SMG, which is also from the UNSC Hangar Deck. One of the awesome things about this set is that the three combined and build packagings can all be displayed side by side to give this awesome artwork design of the EVA. Now the booster frame itself is actually based off the Halo Legends anime and is outstanding. So the set itself is actually fantastic. This is a really nice build. I was very impressed how well the three consoles actually fit together to make this thing and it is amazing. It's got a lot of nice movable pieces and a lot of nice colour, including all this silver design up around the actual metallic pieces of the console. This bold red colour that streams across to make it really stand out. It's got amazing translucent orange pieces for the rockets at the back and these seeming fire pieces coming out to really give you the idea that this thing's moving and it has incredibly nice pieces like these Gatling guns at the side and the movable pieces of these two awesome wings that go up and down showing the maneuverability you can use that in a stop motion very well and it, it, it works really well very nice indeed and there's also this nice little front piece that moves up and down and it is incredibly well built so overall this is an absolutely outstanding vehicle the level of detail that Mega's applied to this is really awesome. Personally, some people have actually disagreed with the combined and build aspect, more to the fact that you have to buy, you know, three, you, you, well, you have to buy all three to get the individual armory part, parts, and then people have complained that they then have to buy another three to get the booster frame to display. But honestly, I'm not that fussed. These actual army packs come at two for 15 at Argos. So it's not that much of an expense to get a really nice uh, vehicle. And as well as the vehicle, you also get this awesome display base to put with it. This is a nice and simple combination of the three display pieces. We've got the actual UNSC hangar deck as this black piece, and the other black piece belonging to the CNC console. The lava piece is actually one fixed piece, belonging to the four in a terminal. And the three slot together like they were made for each other, they work really nicely, and they are awesome for display. The three lock together, and then this lovely translucent section here holds the actual booster frame in like that. And it is also really cool because this slightly slanted piece here gives the actual booster frame at an angle so it looks really nice flying through the air at a nice angle looks excellent for display pieces and the actual maneuverability of the vehicle uh, gives gives a nice amount of detail for doing stop motions and stuff really nice detail the figure itself can actually attach the two feet onto there and the two hands onto these holding bars here and he can operate the actual console. So to build this actual booster frame, if we're averaging that the sets being 215 and considering you actually need three to build this, this averages at about £22.50 set. Which honestly isn't that bad. With the amount of extra weapons you'd get and the fact that you'd get another crawler, add another marine which you can never have enough of, and this awesome metallic EVA to display, I can't actually grumble. The vehicle itself is outstanding, a lovely build, and the translucent parts really make it stand out with this bold red colour running down. And the three bases clipping together really do look awesome. I've wanted this set ever since it was previewed at Halo Mega Bloks Fest 2013, and it is absolutely amazing to finally hold it in my hand. So, this was another Halo Mega Bloks review by the SS Motion. Please like, favourite, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see, and we'll see you next video.